central tendency and measure of variation. A. Central tendency. Central tendencies are the mean value and median and mod. The mean of a data is the sum of the data entry divided by the number of entries. So in this case, we distinguish population mean, mu, and sample mean, x bar. The median of a set data set is the value that lies in the middle of the data when the data set is ordered. The median measures the center of an ordered data set by dividing it in, into two equal parts. If the data set has an odd number of entries, the median is the middle data entry. If the data set has an even number of entries, the median is the mean of the two middle data entries. I know this part is a little bit confused, so I will explain a little more detail when I actually show an example. The mode of a data set is the data that occurs with the greatest frequency. If no entry is repeated, the data set has no mode. If two entries occur with the same greatest frequency, each entry is a mode and the data set is called by model. Okay, then let's look at an example. Here are two examples. So find the central tendency of given data. Number one, SUVs. The maximum number of seats in a sample of 13 sports utility vehicles. So in order to find central tendency, I recommend you to reorganize the data using ascending order. So number one case, so I can say there are one, two, three, four, five, six, two, three, four, five, six, and then one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, and one, two. Actually, there's seven here, so seven, eight, nine, nine. Seven, eight, nine, nine. Okay, so here's the ascending order. So now, as you see, this five up here, the most frequency, so five will be the mode. So, what, what is the median value then? Median is the middle data value, so uh, when you look at this 13 data, I think uh, seventh data will be the uh, median. So which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 as well. So 6 will be median value. Now mean. Find the mean. You need to combine all the data and divide by number of data. So mean will be. 81 over 13, therefore the answer become 6.23. Okay, then look at the second example here, education. The education cost per student in thousands of dollars from a sample of 10 liberal art college. So, number two case. Also, we want to rewrite all the data using ascending order. When I look at this data, 19 is minimum, so 19 and 20, 21, 22 and 22, and 23, and 25, 30, 35, 35. Okay, 
When you look at this data carefully, 22 appear twice, and 35 appear twice as well. So, we have by model this case, which is 22 and 35. Okay, how about the mean value? Mean value, you combine all the data and divide by number of data. It's going to be 243 over 10, therefore 24.3 is our mean value. Okay, then how about the median value here? Last data case, the total is odd number of data, so we have actual data entry is median value here. But now this case, we, if we count and eliminate, eliminate one by one, then as you see, those two are middle entry here, which means there's no actual median value on this data set. Therefore, we need to find the mean of two middle entries, which is 22 and 23. So, 22 plus 23 divided by 2. And then 22.5 will be our median value. And then to make it a little bit more, uh, actually easier to understand, I'm going to say this is imaginary median value and it was actual median value. So please remember if total data entry is odd number, you can actually see actual median value. However, data entry is even number, then you, you won't see actual median value. Therefore, you need to find imaginary median value. Then how to find it? You need to find mean of two middle entry value. So in this case, we choose 22 and 23 because they are two middle value and find their mean value.